I'm Kaylin, and I am co-founder of K2Chem, which is a marketing firm. I am also co-founder of the Golden Flow System of Accelerated Well-Being and Abundance. So you can call me your marketing strategist or your abundance coach. Either way, I love helping business owners and entrepreneurs get the most out of the expression that their business truly is. I love seeing them turn theirs into a spiritual business in which they are attracting abundance by having fantastic marketing and doing a great job of communicating what they offer. I am joined by my friend Oberon, who always joins me in my videos, and today we have a special guest. Oberon brought his buddy Otto. Otto is our business specialist. Today, Otto wanted to have me tell you a story that I had told him earlier about a friend of mine in high school and about having your own business. So, here goes the story. When I was in high school, my girlfriend's boyfriend at a different school was, I guess, quite the savvy little entrepreneur because he was in 11th grade and he had, I think around 10th grade, put together an LLC, which stands for Limited Liability Company. And in this company, I don't know if he had connections or what, but he had caterers that he worked with who needed people. They needed inexpensive but good labor to come and serve, set up, clean up at catering events. In other words, they had the food, they needed the manpower or the female power to help get their business out there. In other words, when they had a party, they really needed people. And this is where this young man came in. He put together an LLC and he would hire his friends to come and work at the catering biz. Now, here's the trick. He was pretty savvy and, to me, quite brave. I mean, even now, starting your own business can be a little intimidating. But he's pretty savvy because not only was he creating jobs for his friends, so he had a lot of friends, but on top of that, the truth is, every hour that we all worked, he got paid. You get it? Because, you know, he was the owner, so when he hired people, for however much it was, let's say it was $8 an hour, I don't remember how much it was back then, he probably got paid 10 or maybe 12. He was making money off of us as we worked. Very savvy. Here was this young man in school, doing very well in school, so he spent most of his time studying or whatnot, but he was also being quite the entrepreneur, probably saving money for college kind of thing. Well, he was living the dream. He was already living the dream and you can too. One of the most common questions that come forward is, can I make money doing what I love? Well, that's a little complicated and I've answered it in another video. So please be sure to look through my videos if you're curious about it. Look for the rat race <laughs> and getting out of the rat race kind of thing and having your own business. But in this video, let's just cut to the chase and say, it depends on what you're after, of course, and everything is relative. But look at this young man, he did it. So I'm sure that you can too. What it takes is simply getting a license and an LLC. Now getting an LLC is all about applying with the state and you can do a quick search on the internet for the state you're in and getting an LLC and finding the form usually jumps right out. You print it out, fill it out, send it in with your money, which usually isn't all that bad, maybe 50 to 150, something like that. Not that expensive, considering that you're starting a business. And then you hear back. When you hear back, you call the IRS to get an EIN. That's a tax number for this entity. Because when you have a business, and when you set it up as any kind of limited liability or any other corporation, anything like that, it becomes its own entity. Limited liability can be a single proprietorship or it can be a partnership. So if I open it by myself, it's a single proprietorship. If I open it with my buddy Oberon, then we would be in a partnership, but we can still be in an LLC. LLC is sort of one of the easiest ways to do it. You don't have to have special annual meetings and all this other stuff. So if you're just getting started, it's a great way to start. So it becomes its own identity and you do need that tax number from the IRS. That's a piece of cake. They're always happy to give out a number to receive more tax income. Not the same as the Social Security. Social Security would be for an individual person. 
an EIN becomes an individual entity that is a business, not a human person, an entity. So that's an important thing to realize and to be sure to do. First of all, it makes you legal. Second of all, it also has the advantage of giving you some shielding, some protection. An LLC, along with any other kind of business entity, has its own, as an entity, its own business, its own money. That means that if anything were to happen with your business, your house, for example, or your car are yours. They don't belong to the entity and legally there's just a division there, so it can't be taken. Just like if someone sues you, they can't steal your neighbor's things. Well, you become the neighbor or your business becomes the neighbor and it gets separated. So it's very good protection in today's happy to sue you world. <laughs> so I strongly recommend it. It really keeps things cleaner, it makes the IRS happy, and uh, you know, the truth is it'll just make things easier for you as well. So be sure to consider this because, my goodness, if a 10th grader or 11th grader can do it, you can too. It's just not a big deal, the taxes, filling out the taxes at the end of the year or at the beginning of April, they're not too bad for an LLC. I mean, it can all get more complicated, but an LLC is pretty uncomplicated. And like the young man when I was in high school, it can help you start to live your dream. It can help you start to create a little side business and grow it so that you can start to empower yourself. You can start to feel like you can create something in your life doing what you love. And that's really a great place to be. And it really can be as simple as I've said. So simple, a kid in high school could do it. So I promise, you can do. <laughs> you can too. Like I said, it's a simple search and you find the information and you just send it on in. So we want to wish you great abundance and tell you that you know, starting your own little business is a great thing. It's a great thing for your own expression and it's a great way to start to change your mind and start to move your way out of a rat race mentality and into an entrepreneur and owner kind of mentality where you're going to feel so much more free and you're going to be able to gently bridge your life from working for someone else into being an entrepreneur if that's what you want to do and that bridge makes it a nice and smooth transition. It's a great way to go. So, if you're thinking about doing what you love and you have something you love doing so much so that you want to do it all the time, that's the way to do it. And really, 11th grader can do it, you can too. Here's to your abundance. Oh, sorry, and Oberon wants me to remind you. If you enjoy the video, please be sure to like or subscribe so that you catch our next videos and you're also welcome to come visit us at, online to learn more about starting your own business, about marketing your own business, so that you are enjoying great abundance.